Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to introduce you to the newest Stamp Timber collaboration, and this one is designed by Pink Fresh Studio, and it is called Edged Floral. It's a beautiful kind of floral, well, it's called Edged Floral, and I'm guessing that's because it's like on the edge, kind of like a border there, depending on how you want to orientate your card. And there is a coordinating die set that you can purchase together. You can also just buy the stamp set by itself and it die cuts that big floral border as well as two of the largest sentiments. So I'm going to start by embossing this large floral foliage border. I'm going to emboss it in white and I'm going to add color with emboss resist, which is one of my most favorite techniques. And I do have a very soft spot for anything Pink Fresh Studio. I always have. I think they do floral, kind of like some of the best in the biz. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so I first I prepped my white cardstock, which is Hammer Mill white cardstock. I prepped it with the Simon Says Stamp powder brush tool. I'm inking up the floral border with Versamark ink. And then I'm going to pour on Simon Says Stamp white embossing powder and I just pour this right out of the tub. I have a piece of scratch printer paper and pouring it all out. I'm this is the first video I've made in our new house. We have moved to Minnesota and I let me tell you the craft room is utter chaos. As my kids would say, mom, it's a gong show. So I'm like this is totally makeshift. If you could see and I should have took a picture of what my craft room looks like. It's it's going to be a work in progress. But anywho, I'm I'm propped up against a nice window and I heat that with a heat gun. I love heating things on that glass mat by Simon's the Stamp. I find myself pulling that out time and time again whenever I'm heat embossing cuz I don't like to heat emboss on my rubber um, grid mat. I like to do it on the glass mat. And then I'm just gonna go right into blending. I started with peony, and now I'm doing peachy. And you know I'm going in rainbow order. And I'm also using the Rainbow Splash blender brushes, which are a nice larger size than some I've used. I love the large size. They blend like butter with the positively saturated inks. So I just did lemonade and now I'm working my way into celery. If I forget to mention an ink color or any of the supplies, everything will be linked in the description box if you're watching this on YouTube and everything will be linked in the blog post if you're checking this out on the Simus' Stamp blog. Okay, now we're working our way into sea foam and I'm running out of room. I don't think I'm gonna have room for purple. I do like to add purple into my rainbow, but a lot of times I run out of room and I don't know why that is. And then after sea foam, I gotta do a little marine. I like to bring in a true blue. I also didn't add red to this. You know, I started with pink and that's what you call living on the rainbow edge. Okay, gonna take the coordinating die and die cut this. I'm gonna take this off camera, run it through my die cutting machine. And then one thing I like to do whenever I do emboss resist and then I die cut something, I like to give what I, I like to call the once over. <laughs> The once over a little extra zhuzh it up. So I took the darker shade after peony, which was rose, and I'm giving it just a little, little titch. Is that even a right, little, little bit? Just over on the side, just give it a little that pop of vibrance. So I took the darker shade, rose, grapefruit. I think this is sunbeam. And then down on the green, I'll do uh, lime malicious. And then I'm going to just pull out that darker blue. Actually, I think I just stayed with marine. I went right from Lime Malicious into marine. I just add a little extra elbow grease, you know what I mean, to get a little shade darker. And then I like to take a dry paper towel and go over everything and that'll get any ink that's sitting on that white embossing and it'll really make your white image pop. Love this rainbow blend, done it a ton. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It never stops making me happy. And then I'm going to stamp one of the larger sentiments that has the coordinating die. And I'm going to stamp this with VersaFine Onyx Black Ink onto another little panel of that Hammer Mill white cardstock. Uh, you could also emboss a sentiment. A lot of different things you could do. Uh, this says, what does it say? Wishing you a beautiful day. I'm going to stamp it twice to make it nice. Now, one thing I've, I've, I've noticed about VersaFine Onyx black ink. She's juicy. So sometimes you got to let her dry. 
I'm going to put the coordinating die on, take it off camera, run it through my die cutting machine, and then carefully take that little place and pierce tool and pop out all the little innards. And there you have a beautiful die cut sentiment. I'm going to take for a card base, this is buttercream cardstock, which is by Simon's Stamp. And I love a cream card base. I love a white and a cream, a cream and a white. In fact, that's one thing I want to do in this house. When we moved into this house, all the walls are painted different colors and I just want everything a very soft white, kind of like an off-white, a cream, I don't know, eggshell. I love an eggshell with white trim. That's my jam. You wouldn't think it because I do love rainbows, but in, in my home, I love the walls to be neutral. You can add color with paintings and pillows and whatnot, but mostly I love neutrals. I love to live in neutrals. I love to wear neutrals. And then on my cards, I just let her go rough. I let it go wild. Okay, I stacked up the sentiment with three more just white die cuts. That way I didn't have to use any foam tape. But I did put foam tape on the back of this blended floral border. Popping that up on the buttercream card base. Going to glue the stacked sentiment right in that perfect little spot there it's like it was meant to be which it was probably designed just to fit like that right in the pocket and then for embellishment i'm using a little bit of these northern lights embellishment mix came out in the stem timber release poured those on the pink fresh studio brass triangle tray which is very a uh, fancy schmancy hey wishing you a beautiful day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Tune in every day this September for more incredible collaborations. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Hi there. I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content.